Welcome back to Horrified American Monsters. Indeed, the Mothman is just bringing it to us in a bad way. All right, um, I guess we're just going to be doing a, a turn for each character. I'll be doing that the episodes until we either win or lose. And so far, wow, we're almost halfway to complete annihilation here. So let's see if we can do a little bit better, possibly. I don't know. Mountain Man up first. He's sitting right there with the eye of the Mothman with uh, the Mothman. So uh, he has uh, three actions. He can go anywhere he wants. As an action, his uh, special action is place your investigator in any space. So you know what he's going to do? He's going to do just that. He's going to go from the mansion and he's going to pop his way right to the sheriff station. Boom! Just like that. One action. For his second action, he will activate the trap at the sheriff's station. And when we do that, we take the uh, lantern that was at the sheriff's station as part of the setup for Mothman, and we throw it back in the Crown Royal bag. So there we go. That's his second action. His third action, he'll pick up a goat. Mm -hmm. Just so he has a little bit of protection, he gets attacked by something. So very quickly, wow, that was Mountain Man going. And that's it. So, yeah. We're going to be pulling a card, and we're going to be doing what it says. And this is always, always bad. Uh, this is Jubacabra stalking their prey. But first up, two. We get to pull two tokens out of the bag and place them out on the board. So let's grab a couple of tokens, and we get a lantern at the sheriff's station. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that was the one I just threw in. You heard me shuffling, and we get a pocket knife at the general store. Which is gas station. Where's the other oh, general stores here? So there's a poison and that. All right, boom. There's simply that's done. All right, so this is a Chubacabra card. So they, Chubacabra, we're not playing with, so we're not going to be moving it. Move Chubacabra to the nearest location and he gets to eat. So the Banshee of the Badlands goes, and then the uh, Ozark Howler and the um, Jersey Devil. But we don't have either of those, so it's just going to be the Banshee of the Badlands. She's going to move one space. Roll two dice. Is she going to get to anybody by moving one space? We have our mountain man here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So she's three away from our agent and three away from the mountain man. And one, two, three, four away. So she, she can either go this way. One, two, three. I think we're going to move her right here. She's going to make her way to the intersection. There we go. And she's not going to roll two dice because she didn't get in anybody's space. And so very quickly, that is the Mountain Man's turn. I know I didn't change camera angle at all because I was able to get everything in. All right, we're going to be changing camera angle now because we are over to the Scout. The Scout is sitting here with Bigfoot. And I think I want to keep having the Scout stay with Bigfoot. So let's see what she wants to do. All right, the cool thing about the Scout, who currently has a bear with her, um, is she, her special action is move any investigator or citizen one location. So she can just do that, which is awesome. So, but for her first action, she's going to move back to the campground. Her second action, she's going to pick up the pickaxe. Her third action is to move back to where the Bigfoot is hanging out. And her fourth and final action will be to move another uh, investigator. So let's have her do that. All right, she's going to move the agent from the diner over to the gas station so he can pick up a pocket knife and then maybe move over here and do other things. So he's a couple away from Bigfoot. He's gotten far enough away now from the Mothman, the Banshee. Everything's looking, I think, pretty good. So we're going to zoom out and we're going to draw a card and follow the instructions. Oh, yeah, we're drawing a card and we get... The Chubacabra! Oh, zero. Okay, another Chubacabra card. Hungry! We don't have a Chubacabra. Those are Heart Mothman and Jersey Devil. So, oh, come on! The Mothman moves three spaces and rolls a die. Ooh! Three spaces. Are you kidding me? He can get to the agent who specifically was moved away to get away from Mothman. This Mothman is becoming a real problem. We need to set all the traps and get rid of this guy. So Mothman goes one. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. He's going to get stuck here on the trap token. He will not be able to move three spaces. Because when a Mothman moves, when he hits a trap, to, uh, an activated trap token, he doesn't move anymore. Pretty sure. I'm going to double check the rules. But I think that's it for him. 
That would be pretty awesome. That would be the end of the turn. I would double check the rule and come right back. All right, I checked the rule and it just says, uh, if Mothman enters a location with a trap, it doesn't even say with an armed trap. So anytime he enters a location with a trap, unless he's going for the eye of the Mothman, uh, which is horrible, he will stop at a trap location, armed or not, according to the rule book. So there we go. That was the end then of our scout's turn. And, uh, boy, Bigfoot is really staying hidden. All right, up last uh, is the agent who's right here. So let's have him start taking his actions. All right, the agent's just going to be collecting goods. So first action, he's going to pick up the pocket knife. There we go. His second action is he will move to City Hall. For his third action, he will pick up all of this. He will pick up the compass and the lantern. And for his fourth action, he's going to move... Oh, if he moves here, the Banshee might get him. Uh, but we want to start moving some Bigfoot pictures around. Oh, dear. Um, I think for his fourth and final action, let's move him over here to the tavern. He needs a drink. <laughs> so there we go. Very quickly, that's it. Now he has uh, four of the green or teal colored items and he has a, a knife. And we're going to zoom out and he's going to draw a card and we're going to see what takes place. Okay, things are pretty quiet in the streets these days. All right, the card for him and it is... Chuba, wow, the Chubacabra cards are just, wow, I shuffled it. Okay, two, we're going to take two tokens out of the Crown Royal bag. Because, of course, we're going to place them on the board. Oh, okay, two tokens, and what do we get? We get a knife at the gas station. Oh, we're getting a lot of knives showing up. And we get a pistol at the sheriff's station. Right on, which is, oh, where Mountain Man is. And he had to use his rifle to defend against the ridiculous Mothman the last time. All right, what do we got? We got the uh, Banshee, the Badlands, moving two. Oh, good. So it was a good thing we didn't uh, have our agent anywhere. Oh, no. The Banshee can get to... No. Can get to our Mountain Man. Rolling one die. So this Chupacabra, we just ignore this because we don't play uh, Chupacabra. And then Mothman will go moving two. All right, so first up, the Banshee, the Badlands, moving two spaces. And then we'll only be rolling, luckily, one die. So she is going to go... So it's one, two, three to the agent, one, two. So she goes one, two and makes her way to the sheriff station with Mountain Man. And then she's going to roll one die, which we can see there. And let's hope we don't get something bad. And we get something bad. Of course! Ugh. Of course, I always roll. It's a one in six chance. I keep rolling this. Every time they roll one die, I roll that. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go check the Banshee Badlands and see what she does with that. Well, that is just garbage. All right, so this, the whale. Move the all violent. Well, move all violence one space toward the skeleton per power icon rolled. Well, she rolled one power icon. Every one of these moves one space. That is is not good. Uh, yeah, because the farther away they are, it's harder for us to get them all to the safe zone so we can hunt her down and take her out. Okay, so at least there was no wounds. So Mountain Man, Man got to retain all the stuff. All right, we're not finished though. We have to check the rest of the card. All right, checking the rest of the card. We have the Ozark Howler. We don't have it. And then we have the Frenzied Critter. And yeah, you can see the token right there on Mothman. <laughs> Mothman's going to move two and roll one die. Can he get to anybody with... Oh, come on. No! All right, well, he can make his way to our agent. One, two. Or one, two, three. Yeah, four. He can make his way to the agent. One, two. However, we're only rolling one die. <laughs> and we know how well that goes. So, rolling one die one just one let's not see that exclamation point that would be nice and this time we get a blank so mothman does nothing so the agent just hears some fluttering around by, by the light stands at the tavern and doesn't see anything wow so this episode our terror hasn't gone up uh we didn't really get beaten up too badly and i think 
that's actually not terrible. So I am going to leave it off there. Like I said, I don't have too much time. Our first episode was pretty long. We had a couple of civilians uh, taken out already. And we also had one of our investigators knocked out before he could even have a turn. I mean, come on. So that's why our terror track is sitting at three. This turn, I feel like we did pretty good. Uh, everyone's getting lots of items built up. We had a couple of traps set now. And I think we need to take Mothman out first. He has been nothing but a pain. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Horrified American Monsters. We're playing against the Banshee. We're playing against the Mothman. And we're playing against Bigfoot. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.